Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey guys, welcome back to Fork and Fly. It's your girl Corey, come back at you once again. Today we have a Hennessy and ginger salmon. Woohoo! The smell, so good. <laughs> Stay tuned if you want to learn how to make this dish. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am doing a segment called Henny Things Possible. And this is my first dish. So first we have to the bowl some melted butter. We're going to add some Obey. Low sodium soy sauce. And I'm just eyeballing everything. Himalayan pink salt. Some ginger. Pepper. Now you can use honey. I'm about to say Hennessy. Now you can use honey, but since I am keto, I still want to stay, you know, in my means. So you can use Levia. Or if you have this in your store, you could use a no calorie sweetener. Use any no calorie sweetener. If you're not following keto, then you could just use honey. And now the star of the show. Woo! Some Hennessy. Ah. Like I said, I'm just eyeballing it. Give that a good whisk. Give that a taste. Mmm. What? Get your casserole dish. And we're just gonna put some lemons at the bottom. Nothing too much. Since I only have two pieces, that's all I'm gonna do. Rinse off your salmon, place it in your dish. Skin side down. You can sprinkle this with some salt, some pepper, some obey. Squeeze some lemon juice. Take your mixture and pour it over. Now you wanna marinate it for about an hour in your refrigerator. So, so since I already have it in the baking dish, I'm just gonna put some foil in it. Some people, you can marinate it in a Ziploc bag and then put it in your dish, but it cuts out an extra stuff. It's been marinating for an hour. Take it out, let it rest for about 15 minutes before you put it under the broiler. But while it rests, since this is anything's possible, and that's what we're going for, we're gonna add some more Hennessy. How about that? I put it under the broiler for 10 minutes. Now we're just gonna basically base it again. Be careful, cause this sucker is hot. We're gonna base it. And then put it back under the broiler for another couple of minutes. It depends on how thick your salmon is. But yo, this smells good. This crap is hot. Back in the boiler it goes. Oh, I am so excited. I am so excited to try this. 
Oh my goodness, just taking it out of the boiler, you could smell the aroma of that cognac, of that Hennessy. Oh, this is gonna be good. And you smell like little bits of the ginger, like little hints, like, you know how ginger can smell a little bit sweet, but it has like a distinctive smell. So just imagine Hennessy and ginger with like the smell of soy sauce, you know what soy sauce smells like a little bit, like a saltiness, whatever. And I'm, I'm just so excited. Waiting for it to come back out the broiler. Just baste it again. Little cup of Hennessy ready. My shot to take it with my food. And we all good. We all good. I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Okay, they are out of the oven. Well, out of the broiler. OMG, let's plate this up. This looks so good. Look at that, look at that. Gonna put a little bit of sauce on it. Sprinkle some parsley flakes over it. And this bad boy is done. Look at this. Look at that. What? Oh my goodness, let's get into this. So before I get into this, um, I would say that all the ingredients that I use are keto friendly because I am still following keto. If you're not doing keto, you can substitute the no calorie sugar for like honey if you want to. Nice and thick and juicy, and when you put it under the broiler, it gives that nice top, like, what? Make sure you leave below in the comment what you want me to make using my friend, Hennessy. <laughs> so I could smell the Hennessy, I could smell the ginger. We're gonna take that shot later, because I just want to make sure I taste all the flavors in this salmon before I take a shot. Ooh. Nice and flaky. Oh my goodness. Do the YouTube hand. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mmm! So you taste you taste the Hennessy, you taste the ginger, and I think when you put it under the broiler, this just adds more flavor. Like, the darker, like they say the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, the darker the salmon, the tastier the juice. What? Oh yes, this is good. This is one for the books, like, make sure when you do let your salmon marinate, Poke holes so the flavor can get into that while it's marinating. Especially if you have a thick piece like me. Woo! Mmm! I will pair this with some rice. If you're eating rice, um, some asparagus. This flavor is banging. Let's take the shot of Hennessy. Welcome to my new segment, Anything's Possible. Whoo! That's why I didn't want to take the shot before I ate. Like, look at this. Imagine if you cut this up and like, put it in salad. With the Hennessy drizzle. The Hennessy and ginger drizzle. Oh my goodness. It's like flaky just falling off like. you have to make this. Mm. Thank you, Hennessy. Don't forget to like, 
comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know next time when me and Hennessy is pairing up. Make sure you share this video to your family and friends and make this dish. You know, leave in the comments below if you made it and how was it. Like, I definitely want to know how it was. Like, what? And then, imagine if you had white Hennessy. What? If you had white, I have white Hennessy too. That would be a smoother taste. Girl, boy, Hennessy alone, but imagine if you had white Hennessy. Mm. Peace. And there's lemon in it. Lemon, you ever had lemonade in Hennessy? Just suck the lime. I mean, just suck the lemon with the Hennessy. Mm, mm, mm.